Welcome to Milk Street at Home Cocktail Hour. I'm J.M. Hirsch. Today we're going to chill out and talk about the ice that we use to mix our cocktails. Because how you use that ice actually can profoundly change the flavor of the finished cocktail in ways that most of us don't realize. Now, when we mix a cocktail, obviously the ice is chilling the other ingredients. But that's actually only part of the story. It's also diluting the drink. And the more it dilutes it, the more it changes the flavor of the cocktail. Now, that might sound like a bad thing, but it's not. Many of the flavor compounds in liquors, especially higher proof liquors, uh, need a little bit of dilution in order to open up and allow us to appreciate the nuances and the flavors. Uh, this is why people drinking scotch neat, for example, will often add a few drops of water to it. Now, there are a lot of ways to do this. Uh, the most direct and the most, let's say, potent way of doing it is to stir uh, the cocktail ingredients and ice directly in the serving glass. That's going to give you the greatest chill and it's going to give you the greatest degree of dilution. Next down from that would be using a cocktail shaker, which is a very aggressive way of kind of breaking up the ice, chilling and diluting simultaneously. Uh, a more moderate way after that would be using a stirring glass like this, adding the ingredients and adding the ice, stirring and then straining it out. Each one is going to deliver a different take on the cocktail. And a good way to experiment with this is just to try the same cocktail each way, and you're going to see the differences in it. Which one you use, it's really up to you and what you prefer. Now, I'm going to talk today, though, about one of the least appreciated methods of using ice to make a cocktail, and that is the ice strain. Now, in an ice strain, what you're doing is filling a cocktail strainer with crushed ice, and then you pour your finished ingredients through it just before serving. Unlike shaking, the ice strain is the most delicate and most nuanced way of diluting and chilling a drink. And this is for when you really want to appreciate the strength and the boldness of a stronger cocktail, usually a whiskey-based cocktail. To show you how ice straining works, I'm going to introduce you to my favorite cocktail of the moment, and that is a Vucare, which originates in New Orleans. And it is kind of, in terms of a flavor profile, it's kind of like an herbal Manhattan. Um, it's a very bold, very strong drink. So I've added one ounce of rye. You also could use bourbon, and, but I like the pepperiness of rye. And I'm adding one ounce of cognac which is going to sweeten it up with a little complexity. Then I'm going to add one ounce of sweet vermouth. Again, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of complexity. There we go. And then the secret ingredient for this one is Benedictine. Now, Benedictine is a French liqueur. It's made from, I think, 27 berries, bark, and herbs and spices and such. And we are putting in three quarters of an ounce of this. Everything else was one ounce. Now, normally when I was making a Vucare, I would add ice and I would stir it. But today, I want it a little bit stronger, a little bit more potent. I want to appreciate a little bit more of the alcohols that are involved. So I'm going to give it a good stir. Then I'm going to add Peychaud's bitters, which are kind of sweet and very herbal, and a drop of Angostura bitters. There we go. And give it another stir. Now, that is right, but first, before we can serve it, we need crushed ice. Normally I use a Lewis bag, a mallet in the bag, we bash it, but my in-laws recently gave me this cool antique ice crusher and I figured I would give it a whirl. I'm not sure how well it works. There we go. I'm gonna give it a shot here. I think this is how you do it. There we go. Oh, it worked. Who knew? There we go. Hey, hey, whoops, there. All right, I think I like my Lewis bag better. All right, but it seems to have worked. So we'll take that, out. oh, hey, it did work. All right, there we go. All right, so to make our, or finish rather, our Vucare, we're gonna take our cocktail strainer and we're going to fill it with crushed ice. Oh, there we go. Again, I think I like my Lewis bag better. All right, give a final stir to our drink. All right, now, again, all we're doing is just the barest amount of dilution and chilling by pouring our Vucare through the crushed ice. And there we have it. That is a Vucare made by an ice strain, which is the most subtle way of chilling and diluting a cocktail. Cheers.